Hi, chat. Welcome um, to episode seven of Voices of Enoch, the only Outriders podcast? Question mark. The only one that matters. Keep going. The only one that matters. I really don't know if there's any other ones. <laughs> but that being said, uh, let's start off with today's uh, today's dev news. Today's dev news. They're going to be going over the topic of Discord Fortress. There was no patch again today. Um, they're still working on the latest uh, patch and some issues raised during this mission process is what they're saying. Um, but now they're giving us some insight on what changes they have planned for Fortress. And we can start off with topic of discussion. Mafin, you want to start it off there? Sure. Um, buh, 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 buh. All right. So as, a, as part of today's news and continue the previous week's discussions around the weapon mod meta um, revolving around Moaning Winds, we wanted to spend a bit of time taking a closer look at the fortress mod and sharing our plans for it with you um reminder being that the fortress mod is one of three core pillars of the current weapon meta the other two being Mon uh, moaning winds and i think what was it the other one was like aoe mods separately yeah it was like sure? mods um, versus single yeah. target mods yeah um ba -ba -ba -ba, the shape of this current meta generally has left to a stagnation of build diversity which is very true i mean i i personally really enjoy the the moaning wind cycling and pairing that with ap stuff i, I think it's like a really satisfying play style 100%. but um I agree with you says i mean I, I do agree you know there's definitely a stagnance in build diversity at least from like a efficiency standpoint uh, there's an over-reliance on a very small amount of specific mods as well as an under-reliance on the vast majority of other mods. Um, as mentioned previously, this meta is partially driven by a DPS timer-oriented endgame where players feel like they are consciously or subconsciously forced into using either Fortress or Morning Winds or both if they want to play and farm in the most efficient manner. A number of players have found alternatives to these mods and have been able to clear gold times and expeditions with such builds, but these players unfortunately remain as an exception to the rule. Is that true though? Because well, I, I don't really see that many Ash Blast overheat pyros, if I'm being completely honest. Well, they have the you know the analytics. They have the data. So they, they, have they have the, the analytics, analytics, man. Yeah, yeah like we can't. I, I mean, personally, I just don't see them in the games I'm I'm currently playing. So I mean, it makes sense, them. right? Like the people that <laughs> actually enjoy the game, like and play just on their own time, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Be really curious to see. Yeah, I I would like the. Do you guys remember a, a while back where they they like put out the numbers like time played, expos completed, stuff like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like some more numbers like that. Maybe like build comparisons. How many technos or like not even numbers, uh, but percentage. How many? That's a lot. Hot. That's a lot. I mean, we that's know the like dead shield. We know the dead shield is the most used legendary. So already that says a lot. Mm, yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. True. That is that is very and what true. It, what's what's the percentage of how many people put moaning winds on that death shield? I mean, it's not yeah, even that since it comes that. with fortress, right? It works with trickster, pyro, and devastator. So every one of those classes is running fortress if they're going AP mm -hmm. and trickster for both AP and um, FP, right? <laughs> it's either dark sacrifice or moaning winds on that death shield, probably. Yep, exactly, exactly. But yeah, I don't, I don't, man, I don't know. I really don't know about the, uh... but yeah, like, know. like you said, there is, there is statistics and they, they have the numbers. Just, it's just, you know, like for me as well, like very rarely do I see the, the Ash Blast overheating moaning winds in just random lobbies or even, even people that join me in general. It's not the most common. Would that be like right now? Because I know about a month ago, maybe two months ago. I know when um when I first started using it when I or you know definitely speed running started speed running like that was the major question what is that and what are you using and how are you using it um and then next thing you know everyone was all about it but maybe that's right now but I would say like thinking back maybe two months ago. Yeah, I suppose um, they have this data accumulated from quite a while too, and it's not yeah, just yeah for probably so, yeah, June. Yeah. You could probably look at it that way. And maybe at this point right now, you don't see it because people are over it, right? People are possibly over it. And they're just like, you know, I want something. I want, I want to try something else. Razor and yeah, T-bombs. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, yeah, that's yeah. the thing, right? Is the people that play a lot will try all these uh, different builds, but the mm-hmm. people that only play sometimes, they'll probably just stick to the meta, right? Mm-hmm. Very true. And we're speaking casual players there, right? I'm not speaking hardcore, just people that want to have, you know, fun, efficient time playing their games. Mm-hmm. That being said, the biggest issue that uh, PCF has with Fortress is just there's no gameplay loop. And, you know, they're very centered around that. Um, we can discuss into more of that, but that's how they finish off that last part of the intro here is that, you know, no gameplay loop, killer damage event or special situation require. It just works and it works really well. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the dissect portion because, you know, it's all going to come together here in just a moment. Um, Kappa, you want to start off the let's dissect this part and we can kind of... Not really, you know, but you, here we go. <laughs> well, too bad. This is cool. You're doing it. And we, we yeah, can no, put in no. our uh, opinions anywhere in between here. You don't have to read it fully. Just like go over the part you think is important. But you know, Yeah, yeah. A, a current key issue with Fortress <laughs> is that the players can receive a, the maximum buff value, 43%, for a very small amount of armor without having to invest into the armor stat through class nodes or movable progression layers such as armor mods. From a historical point of view, the intentions behind Fortress, I want to read this one really loud because I saw something earlier and it kind of like made me upset. And I feel like when you make a YouTube video, like make sure you read everything. Okay. For a historical point of view, the intention behind Fortress were that it should provide a damage buff for players who committed to endurance build with armor stacking and who would therefore likely need to give up an offensive nodes from other branches now i watched the video earlier right clickbait video and the individual said in that video oh you made this mod this way it was your intentions why are you trying to change it now well obviously you didn't read right the discussion portion Obviously, this change is being made not only because of the amount or because you're kind of obligated to utilize this Fortress mod, especially for Devastators and any kind of, well, not any, but mostly all AP builds, but it wasn't their intention, right? So probably however they tested it or whatever they ran, and like I said, I sometimes I feel like they need to like make a video game and then go out. And, and these closed alphas get like get your Dawsons and your dudes with the blunts, and then you just you be like, "Hey, blunts. <laughs> yeah, right." <laughs> you get these guys, and you be like, "Listen, here's the game. I saw that you played this shit for every single second that it was out on beta. Do me a favor, have at it. Break this shit. You got one month, and then I want a full fucking description. And then it comes back because once again." I think I don't even like I don't believe anymore. I'm starting to think that this is a fact that maybe game companies, when they do these testings, it's not the same as if we do the testing, right? Because I I feel like we go a little bit more in depth into the game. I feel like we we figure things out that they would have never thought of. You know what I'm saying? Because we get so emerged into the game. So um, obviously. The way that Fortress is working definitely wasn't their intention, right? Um, yeah. Problematically, Fortress is currently providing incredible value for very little investment. Got it? Because it's just a flat mod. You just here's you go. You have fucking armor. Here's forty three percent damage. This issue became more pronou- most pronounced when we rebalanced armor a few months ago, so that all gear would provide more armor overall. I remember that update. Exactly. So essentially what I'm reading off of there and what I'm trying to understand, what I'm, you know, getting from that is that before you upgraded the armor, it was fine. It was working, I guess, which how you wanted it to work. But then since you bumped up the armor, you failed to realize that, hey, holy shit, we have this mod in there that gives you 43% damage based on your armor. And we just bumped up the armor. So, you know what I mean? Maybe something right there where you could have been like, all right, we'll bump up the armor, but we bring down the value of the damage. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. An easy easy fix here would would be to 
correct the now broken armor to buff value calculation and require players to invest more into armor. However, this is ov overly simplistic and imperfect solution, and it would very it would very likely be seen as a heavy nerf, even though we would be returning the mod to its originally intended tank or bruiser class niche use. Now, we already know because the community is going crazy. Major nerf, major nerf is they're not nerfing anything. So um, it would also not be a significant enough change to properly disrupt the meta. I kind of disagree with that sentence right there. We expect that a new meta would simply form around tank slash bruiser classes with any non-tank slash bruiser being kicked out of groups the way Devastator were before their potential was discovered. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I totally agree with you. I, I'm Honestly, yeah. I'm not going to fully read all of this right here. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to fully read all of this. But basically what this is saying is that you're going to um, – that because they buffed up the armor, it kind of made uh, Fortress OP. Point blank and simple in layman's term. All right? But that was not the intentions. And then they also don't want you to feel obligated to use this bill if – prime example you're going to utilize it um the only way you're going to utilize it is for what ap build right um and that was not the intent trickster firepower as well yeah trickster firepower yeah. okay um so there it is so now you have three classes that in order for them to be efficiently effective if if i said that correctly i mean i throw uh, you know i throw fortress on ap techno as well if i'm being honest Oh yeah, 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 I would too. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Sorry, I, AP Techno doesn't come to mind because it's AP Techno. Because yes, it's a true. You don't need it, right? One hundred percent. I I understand. So I would say, like, yeah, it's 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 overly used because you have to use it. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, what just mean? because it's so good for no downside. I mean, I don't know exactly. why they say it's too simplistic. To put it on armor, I mean, you'd have to sacrifice a mod slot for more armor. I feel like yeah, that's right. what I was gonna go over here in just a bit that's too a because kind of you know right. Like... Yeah. So like he like they said originally like that's what the mod was meant. So basically, if you went middle tree, like let's just like that's what I'm getting out of it. If you went middle tree, fortress was the mod for you, right? Because obviously middle tree you don't have that much damage, right? Um. So if you went middle tree. Well, here you go. Here's this fortress mod that essentially is not going to give you the full damage that you would get if you went top tree or bottom tree, but it would basically try to compensate for base uh try to compensate for whatever you're missing, right? That the top tree yeah. and bottom tree would give you whether it would be through anomaly power or firepower. You know what I'm saying? So that's all they're saying here. And I agree with it because, honestly, I sit here and as many times as I've heard a uh, dude with a blunt say, uh, build diversity, build diversity, build diversity, build diversity. Well, now I'm a believer. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm like, well, this motherfucker then fucking implanted that shit in my brain that, you know what? Yeah, you, it's not a bad thing to have a build diversity because it's going to cause people to continue to play the game and play more. Right, it gives you more things to do. Like, hey, let me try it with here, he, and and that with there. So, um, and that's the intention. And I, like I do want to say it, that, like, I know it was your intent for Fortress to be viewed a certain way, but I kind of liked the unintentional side effect that it had, at least for AP Pyro in that regard, because it is kind of satisfying to be able to use Fortress to get those sick clears, you know. Like, right. I mean, that's a gameplay loop I think a lot of people can enjoy as well, just seeing all the dots on the map disappear. But definitely going to be hard. Well, to yeah, but Fortress is not, you know, features. There's a, Fortress is not necessary to any of that. That's the thing you're, <laughs> you know, you're missing. It's just a flat exactly. damage buff. Like, it's just you, buffing you, you up. It does yeah. help, yeah. though. The, like, yeah, yeah. You throw Fortress in the garbage and you buff everybody by 43%, and, you know. Oh, that'd be hot. I don't think that's going to happen, but that'd be hot. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Like the gameplay yeah, loop will yeah, yeah. stay the same. Like yeah. Fortress is inconsequential, and they're right about that. But I, I'm just afraid that like what they're doing right now mm -hmm. is trying to reinvent the wheel. You know, like trying to put the mod over its head when really, like, oh, do we need to be doing this? Like, yeah, that's my opinion on it. So, so I, 
Go ahead, go ahead, Matt. Well, I was gonna say I don't, I'm not sure if you guys had seen that there was a uh, a post on this um, on this dev news by uh, one sleepy Asian earlier, and he mentioned oh, yeah, that was a hot post. He mentions a YouTube video called "What to Do When Players Break Your Game." I would like strongly recommend everyone like check that video out. It's really really interesting because it's like it's like being in the dev shoes and deciding like you know these guys invented this meta, these guys found this like crazy movement tech, these guys did this, they did that. And the the thought process of deciding whether they rebalance or whether they keep things how they do. Right. Really, really interesting stuff. And, and, and that's the thing. And I, that's why I get, I, I get on like my soap opera, my soapbox, you know what I'm saying? And I get so upset because it's like, like I get it. This is very frustrating. Like the no patching, like why do we have to wait? You know what is it? What are we at? Like three weeks now? We're back at a Almost three a weeks month, where honestly. we. Yeah. So yeah. So about a month. Oh, is it a month? Yeah. Yes. Well, oh, it's been five it's weeks. A... It's been five weeks, Pomp says. It's been five it's weeks like without five. a patch. Five weeks. I, I, I which, say, which honestly, you know, which honestly is is a little rough. So I would ask uh, I you, you this. Yeah. It's a little. Rough. I would ask you this. I would I would one hundred percent ask you this. We get a patch, right? Let's say we just get a patch. We got it today. Hey, we got a patch and it includes to where you can't stack mods and and now Devastator does this. Are we really gonna be sitting here and play this game for like another two or three weeks? No. You're probably just gonna come back, test it, be like, "Oh shit, look, this shit works." All right, I'm gonna go back to Destiny. Oh yeah, but but it's but it's the principle behind it, right? It's it's the fact mm -hmm. that it's taken five weeks for just what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen changes. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot that goes into it, right? But it kind of sets like a like they say they want to get the game ready for the DLC and that the DLC is coming soon, but like with the with the ways these or with the with the time frames that these patches are coming out it's mm -hmm. like when is it when is soon right it could be next year kind of thing so i would ask you this question though right because this is what a lot of people yeah. do they just assume and they misinterpret what happens if these patches take it so long because they're reworking the whole server or they're I mean, just tell us reworking then. how they game i mean I, we yeah. be a little you know let us know. I, I, like, hear you. I yeah, hear you. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Keeping 100%. us in the dark will will lead to more speculations like this, right? So, mm -hmm. right. Okay. I'm always on the concept of like just yeah. tell people what you have on the on the pipeline and yeah. I mean, a roadmap of what's happening obviously yeah. would be great. Ooh, roadmap like, would be what, would be amazing. What's actually happening right now in PCF? What are they working on? And when but, can we expect yeah. anything? You know, type thing. I you guess know, them um, being so kind of. What's the word? Like beating around the bush, I guess, isn't helping right. their case either with these with these patterns. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. Like this is the fifth I week see. we have heard the same thing for the general news, which is our right. patch is still working through some issues raised mm -hmm. through the submission process. I mean, maybe it's not the submission. Maybe they were dealing with stuff. I mean, they're at the submission process now, right? But like I, I see it differently. Yeah. I don't I don't care for roadmaps. I don't I don't think it's necessary. Oh no, but you're taking it. You're taking it the wrong way. Like not necessarily no, no, no. a roadmap, no, no. but like you know, what's then happening? Know. Yeah. Like what it, big changes are coming in the future? Like that's really what we're interested in knowing. Right, yeah. but we're all we're interested in knowing a lot of things. That doesn't mean that they have to tell us. Well, I mean, it'd be fun. They told us, so we'd have it a better be, idea yeah. of what's going on. You know. It, it, Should it, we keep playing this game, or is yeah. it dead? Like that's basically the idea that a lot of people. Well, we already got the answer. Hey, there's a future. Well, yeah, so but I'll give you content. Tell the future. Okay. Well, that's the question on everybody's mind. You know, that's okay. Yeah, sadly, just, sadly. Like I said, I'm just gonna play the other side of the fence. I'm just yeah, well, yeah. I'm fence. just playing devil's advocate. You know, like yeah, exactly, exactly. Ultimately, Perfect. people. That's what they they're asking about. That's what they're talking about. So yeah, I just feel like this is the part where the game is not benefiting, or people can fly and Square Enix is getting beat up, because. Uh, I'm just gonna say I don't know a game, uh, Mortal Kombat, right? Let's just say Mortal Kombat was a looter shooter, or RPG, and everybody loved it. And Mortal Kombat sat there, and they were like, "Hey, I'm a, we're gonna let you know right now that in three months, this is what we're gonna do. Six months after that, and now people expect that from everybody." I just say we need to sit down and we need to remember 
what this game originally was supposed to be. Supposed to be a one and done. Once you get to the end of it, that's it. You continue to play, and then you're done. You know what I mean? Like we, like I always want people to keep that in mind. And the fact that they're doing all these things, we have to remember. Like we gotta, we gotta say, hey, I. Right, whenever you're ready, you give it. I'll jump back into it. It's okay to go play other games and other stuff. And I'm not saying this to y'all, just in general, because yeah, like, I today I saw, I I see uh, today. I I was kind of like, yo, y- y- are y'all that serious about it? Like, we have to understand originally with this game. Now they're trying to give us something in return and say, hey, you know what? We're going to make it better because it was shit when we dropped it to you. Like, they've, they've, they've legitimately told us that. Like, it was shit. There was so much shit that had to get done. And sometimes we can't blame them. We have to look at the publishers, right? Because, hey, I got a deadline. I got investors. A lot of money or some money was put into this. And this shit needs to come out now. Right. So we understand that p- aspect. So as consumers, we also have to understand the business uh, position of it. And a person that buys the game today is not going to understand our frustration because I do have that frustrations true. with the game. They're not going to understand our frustration for the people that have been playing this game since April 1st. They're not going to understand it. You know, um, they're not going to go through all that stuff. So I, I essentially say um, just number one. Let's be glad that they are going to give us more content. Number oh yeah, two, I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say that, and regardless, yeah. but you know, yeah, I'm glad yeah, they're still working on the understand. game. It's just, yeah, let's just, I want to know, <laughs> and I'm not saying to y'all, and I, and I, I, I still want y'all to, to to fucking go off and go ham, like fuck this shit. I want, I want to know. Oh yeah, 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 I, yeah, I'm just thinking like, fuck, man, I'm just appreciative that you motherfuckers are still trying to work on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Take your time because you know why. I don't want to go through what I'm going through right now again when the DLC comes out. I don't want to go through it again. That is true. So take but your time just, and do whatever the fuck you got to do. The, I think there's like a correlation of like take, like how much time they take because it kind of like makes the, the current player base that's left kind of lose faith in such a way. You yes. know what I mean? And that, that's a big thing for a lot of people too. Um, yeah. But I, I do agree with what they're saying with Fortress. Like it literally is a best in slot mod. And it really does block three weapon mod slots. Well, let's say two because, you know, you want if Fortress is good. Let's say it blocks two weapon mod slots because um, a lot of the AP builds, they have no variation, you know. Sure, like they mentioned, no. there's a niche of players that have that do something else and try something else. But the majority of people are just going to rock that Fortress and, you know, Papa Moni wins and call it a day. And I do, I do agree that that is an issue with the game because you know we talk about build diversity, but we need to, we need to get there somehow. And Fortress does need a change, but the change they have for Fortress is, in my opinion, not the way I think I intend or I envisioned it to look like. Um, but we can get to that in just a moment here. With so, what do we have planned for the future of Fortress? Uh, before we begin, a small reminder, and this is a huge reminder too. And maybe they'll take our feedback, you know, the community's feedback back. Because none of this is set in stone, right? I, they're giving us, like, what they intend to do with it, not like it's going to happen. Um, we do not plan to address the issue of either Fortress or Morning Winds before we have resolved the challenges that drove to the creation of this meta. So that is going to take a while. Uh, you, therefore, don't need to worry about over disruptive changes to the current power balance as long as the overall end game experience exists in its current form, right? So here's the here's here's what they're saying to us is basically... Um, we're going to make a change, but it's not happening right now. Um, and, I, and I think that's where a lot of the panic is happening. And I think we just lost Capo here. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah. as far as the change they're making to Fortress, um, Mephine, do you want to go over? But yeah, hopefully Capo can. I, I just wanted to add something before we oh, move, go ahead. move on to that. So just, same. I just think... Yeah, same. same. Oh, well, go first. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go first, Mephine. Well, I was just going to say that uh, uh, on top of, you know, try, try, you know, trying to like keep a level head and, you know, not get like too frustrated with like a big like announcement change stuff like that like i i had like i had an idea earlier and i mean just just that a concept whatever whatever it may be but i I played plenty of games you know where before new stuff comes out they nerf old strong stuff so the new stuff can shine i mean imagine there's you know they, they talked about dlc imagine there's they want something else to become the meta something new you know i mean it's not i'm not saying it's highly likely i'm not saying it's 
even necessarily possible, but it's ha- it's happened in plenty of other games where they want the new stuff to stand out, and that's not going to happen with with more with moaning winds fortress dominating everything. Same with, but then again, Techno has my address, so my point is completely invalid. No, 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 <laughs> not, not at all. But I mean, I kind of want to you know touch on a similar subject, which is we're hearing a lot about you know their their ideas behind changing these mods, but they're also saying they're going to buff other things in exchange, right? Like you said, mm-hmm. Rafine, or new content completely. Mm-hmm. But I feel like these buffs are not happening. Like, there could be things happening right now as we speak that they're just not doing. And it kind of, kind of makes me scared of, of what they will actually be willing to buff, yeah. you know, mm. to, to bring up the... other mods to that level. Because they don't seem to be really willing to buff anything right now, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, That's a good point. with the way they're kind of wording this, they're like... a. F- they're afraid for something else to get to Fortress Moaning Winds if they overbuff something. But the right. but the last like we're we're at a phase of the game where we're used to like this insane damage output kind of thing, right? Um to to an extent. Like Technomancer is another subject in general, but we're talking about AP. Um and I'm sure they'll discuss the whole FP side of things with Dark Sacrifice coming along as well, because that they do need to address that as well. Um but because if they're addressing Moaning Winds and Fortress, they have to address that. But that being said, that aside, like the last five buffs we saw just felt like minor minuscule buffs that ultimately didn't matter and won't even change the meta in any way um so i would like to see more powerful buffs maybe even kind of go ham with the number values and then tone it down um just to see what is a possibility to happen when they make this change to fortress and moaning winds whatever those may be except we do have a good idea of what they're planning on doing with fortress here hmm all right so you guys are scared right well, I mean, I'm definitely You're worried you know, about something. We're concerned. Pessimistic. Okay, okay, okay. Pessimistic put, of what they're actually going to buff, you know? What they're actually going to buff. Can I put your worries away? I'll probably get in trouble for this, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Sure. I'll put your worries away. There's going to be some testing going on, right? And there'll be more than likely there's going to be some testing on certain things as far as like maybe buffs and what they're looking at you know hey is this going to work is this not going to work whatever the case may be and i think that that's when they're they're going to take they're going to take some feedback off of that and probably make some adjustments and when that time comes i'm probably test these things um so (laughs) when that time comes I'm, I'm not saying that the current testing is like nil by any means, but you know it would be nice to. I, I yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that 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 would be not. the phase on where I think that we'll be really really close to some. Um, we'll be really really close to to new content. Um, and I. And I'm okay with that. That's why I'm not too worried. <laughs> That's why I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not like like as worried as you guys are. And essentially, you know, obviously I'm in a different right uh, area than what you guys would be. But that's why I always like. I would just always say, man, if you if you see me cool, calm, and collect, like, trust me, I'm upset. I'm like, fuck, another week with no like <laughs> no patch. Like, goddamn. You know, and I I understand it, but it's just I'm just like yo, it's all right, it's gonna be okay. On the bright side, you know what this means: more time to use fortress and moaning winds. Exactly, <laughs> but I, you know, I I would honestly say, and what they and what they're saying in here, and and I do see you guys' point, but what they are saying in here is mm. that hey, we're gonna be buffing other things, but you do have a point, both of you, you have a point. Some of the buffs that you guys have made, fucking, they don't do anything. Like, yeah, it was like, oh, okay, you're doing more damage, but they don't do anything. Yeah, like the five not... weapon mod buffs. I'm a straight, straight up. They were just, yeah, they, they didn't were, like... change the mods in any way. You know? Yeah, it has still, to be a still bad. And I agree that, like, if you're gonna do this, I'm okay. If you're gonna do this, that's fine. But there better be a significant change. And as we go through this and we see it later on, they they discuss how. Uh, they're looking at doing the nodes and the tree and the, and the skill trees. Um, uh, that they are, you know, they're gonna make some changes in the skill tree. So 
that Look, six let me tell you this right now power i i'm getting better turn into like maybe 36 percent or something like that <laughs> let me tell you now they can nerf fortress to what they're saying if they give me my 35 percent back on trickster there we're done nice exchange <laughs> no anyways um getting getting to fortress's current design and logic Matthew, do you want to go over what they intend to have a new gameplay loop around the, the new fortress that they're thinking of yes um yeah. It's right under before we. Do we're, we're, we're talking, we're talking the yeah. the fresh logic, right? Yeah, the fortress current design and logic is being. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Logic. So, Perfect. the fresh logic of this new mod is meant to be, and this is pending further balancing. Uh, shots increase your current armor and resistance by three percent, stacking up to five times. At maximum stacks, the buff is doubled and additionally grants thirty plus thirty percent damage increase for ten seconds. And the so side note part as well, yeah. And on a side note, uh, players will need to perform five successful shots over five seconds to enter the full buff window. Stacks have a one-second uh, internal cooldown in order to streamline uptimes across all weapon types. So is that at 30% damage across 10 seconds? So that's that's similar to how, um, I think, it, what is it, is Death Sentence? That has, it's the 30% for 10 seconds? No, no, no. Or what? What am I thinking of? There's a self buff. It's not a. It's not a debuff. It's a buff on yourself. Uh, okay. Okay. Got you. Yeah. So current fortress, forty three percent to everything, skills, weapon damage. Um. And then the new buff is shots increase your armor and resistance by three percent, stacking up to five times. And then. At max stacks, you get that thirty percent damage increase as the current fortress does. So they did; they do plan on reducing it by thirteen percent. At least that's what they have on paper here. So I know Big Daddy, you probably have a few feelings about this. Um, so if you wanna, if you wanna put your thoughts into it, feel free. Oh yeah, I mean, I just think you know, overall they're completely changing what fortress does, which is okay. But there's you know what will replace fortress? Nothing. Okay, so Capo looks to be having a little bit of technical difficulties. So hopefully we can get back. We'll get him. Hopefully we can get him back in just a moment here. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I first read this, I was like, this is kind of going to be interesting for AP builds because a lot of people when they make the AP builds, they don't want to focus on firing the guns, right? Well, no, um, but I mean, let's be real. It, it yeah. makes it literally unusable, basically, on yeah, AP yeah, builds because yeah. right. you need to be shooting every second. For yep. five seconds to then yep. get the buff for ten seconds. So there's like yep. a, what a sixty-six percent uptime yep. on a smaller and, damage. Yep. And the trade-off is that you have to also shoot, but you gain armor and resistance. So you know, it's like there is a place for the mod. You know, I'm not saying the design of the mod or it's bad and just an idea, but like I just feel like it's a it's a mistake to destroy fortress, right, and not have anything ready. But I guess what they're saying is there will be something ready, so we'll see. Yeah, and and remember, this also brings it in line to what they intended Fortress to be, and it, it, you know, to to be for more tank here oriented builds, uh, versus Fortress being something for these AP builds, what it is now, right? Um, maybe I would have liked them to maybe just nerf Fortress, you know, down to maybe needing an armor mod and then creating a new mod to replace the kind of thing. But if they want to keep or like know, Capo said, fortress, right? You know, or like Capo said, go down the middle tree and get more out of Fortress. Like, yep. it would open up, you know, different yep. avenues and make the model I, I less simplistic. I think it's a little, at least here, like, I know we had our outrage with it, but I think we need to see what they're going to buff to see if, you know, losing this kind of gameplay style we have for the meta meta builds. Um, well, also, I think it's going something to that we need to point out, right, is that for guns that for builds that use guns right there's already what yeah. killing spree dark yeah. sacrifice right yeah. that are amazing for these yeah. builds now you're adding basically a tanky variant of a, an exact same mod right like so i don't know i find it i find it questionable to remove a mod that's been good for ap builds and basically turn it into an fp build mod you know mm -hmm. yeah but i mean you know going going i'm gonna say this again going back to what they intended the mod to be it lines up more with that, right? 
Um, but I but I do see what you mean is like they really need to create something for AP builds because a lot of people, as much as like we say that, you know, build diversity and whatnot, Fortress and Moaning Winds in its current state, oh man, does it have a place. And I just wish other like if they leave it at that for now. So here's here's ideally what I would like to see from PCF. I don't know if this will happen, but leave Fortress and Moaning Winds how it is now. Buff off all the other mods you have planned buffing, and then let us do the testing to see, like, you know. Like the the whole player base to see the testing to see if like these work, would that fundamentally fundamentally like you know, destroy? I mean, the, uh, the a callback. Concept. A callback to uh, the Fiend's video he was talking about, right? Yeah, is that yeah. I think a lot of people would argue that being able to not shoot your guns is something good, right? Something fun about the game. Yeah, and I them agree. trying trying so hard to like basically break that aspect of the game you know it's make, they're uh, trying to force a gameplay loop to us um and i don't know if that's like the best way to go about it because mm. uh, well, yeah, players I mean, have figured out their point. own kind of gameplay loop yeah 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 it's a great point uh, that said exactly in that video which is uh you shouldn't break what people are enjoying right like i know it's not intended but people are enjoying the gameplay so you should embrace it instead of trying to break it which I completely agree with, honestly. I mean, too. what 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 other game do you em do you empty out your magazines and your guns before your mission starts? Like, you right? never want to waste your ammo in any other game, and that's like part of the build is is emptying your magazine. No, it's always... no game, man. It's it's unique. You wanted a yeah, gameplay yeah. loop, PCF. There's that unique ass gameplay loop that no other fucking game has, and it is satisfying as shit. Intended or not, it is so satisfying. Even even as someone who sucks um, at using moaning winds, just because I don't try it as you know, I don't I don't try it too much, just because like my brain doesn't cooperate with it. But man, like yeah, there's no other game. It's kind of insane. And then I techno is like the opposite, right? Like you you gotta <laughs> yeah. keep your arms up. <laughs> so techno is I, I literally would ask yeah. This question. What about if you know? Obviously, you, you you're gonna have to buff up the APs, right? And they buff up, they buff them up to compensate for that forty three percent, right? So let's just take that, let's put that in into the this equation, and then say this. Now you just get to shoot it while your your skills are being on cooldown. Oh yeah, but that's not that's what I mean, right? It's like. That's exactly my point. People are enjoying being able to not shoot. Making yeah, so they don't have to shoot. And I think that's something that PCF really needs to keep deep, deep in mind. Because if they just kill all those avenues, like that's a mistake mm -hmm. in my mind. Yeah, so here's the thing, Capo. Like I know they had an intention for Fortress to work out in some way, but like right. the unintention, it created this really unique play style that no other game has and i feel like right. you kind of take the identity out of writers in a sense when you when you kill this wow. unique gameplay that a lot of people never got to experience it but now is experiencing it but won't be able to experience it as much uh, once they make these changes like they, they want these gameplay loops but i would argue that this in itself is a gameplay loop um, yeah. but again right these changes aren't happening anytime soon we don't need to get overly worried but and, and, if they do happen I, think... I feel like it kind of kills an identity of outriders in a right. sense but it's then again, I do idea. agree that these mods are overpowered, but they, you know, so perfect balance is always hard. Right. So then let's yeah. just say you can still do it. You just, you're going to get, let's say, like I said, they just buff the AP guys, right? To compensate yeah, yeah, yeah. for you losing. So now you But I, I think at the end of the day, Capo here is we're not going to be able to cycle three moaning winds. Um, that's ah, one of the, so the loops problem that, you know is what I mean. Wins, then. Then the problem is moaning no, no, no. Wins. It's fortress too. But like, I'm, 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 I'm counting both of it right now. Sorry, I was, I was right. talking about both moaning winds and fortress here. I yeah, wasn't just yeah, talking okay. just about fortress. Sorry, okay. I was talking about the whole gameplay loop of moaning winds and fortress. Um, like with fortress, this makes like. This makes it so the change is a little nonsensical to the AP builds that don't want to shoot guns to gain right. like eight damage buff, right? That's just the point I'm trying to make here. It's a very unique play yeah. style where you, like Matt, like Matt said, you empty your mags at the beginning of the expo, and you right. just don't shoot your gun for that gameplay for that gameplay loop. So I think it's like a very nice identity that Outriders has, which ultimately, I mean, in the future may may kind of lose that's you know I, that identity. I would I would even go out on a limb and say don't touch moaning winds leave moaning winds alone and fortress is the only one that you make a change to I agree I, I would be okay with that honestly i'd be okay with that don't touch yeah. moaning winds because we have to understand that 
the reason why Moaning Winds is so good, and let's be real, is because you're pairing it with Fortress and it's get, it's making Moaning Winds do more damage. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But here's the thing: like, I, I, I don't, I, I dislike seeing Fortress as a shoot gun mod. Is is one of the points that I'm, I'm uh... I think Game Big Daddy are making, right? Like, what's right. the what's the substitute for AP builds um, that can kind of have that same play style without needing to shoot the gun? Um, mm-hmm. Because a, a lot of these gameplay loops that revolves around this game is shooting the gun and the satisfaction that Fortress provides. You know, right. in con- yeah, Moaning Winds is just a kind of like a symptom of Fortress being so good. Um, is the fact that you don't have to shoot your guns is I think the yeah. point that 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 kind of identity that Outriders will lose because it's very unique right. play style. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I, I'm willing to even say this. You just buff up the AP builds. You kind of bring down the uh, whatever Fortress does. Leave Moaning Winds, and then that's it. And call I mean, it I'd be day. okay if they and reduced if, the base damage of Moaning Winds a little bit. Because exactly. 400k is kind of insane. <laughs> exactly. Just drop it down. Buff up, like say, hey, all right, listen. We're going to do you guys a favor. We're, we're going to meet you guys halfway, all right? We're going to do this. We're going to break down. You know, we're going to leave Moaning Winds alone. Fuck it. You want to run this shit? You want to go cycle it three times? But we're going to buff your AP bills up, but we're bringing down Fortress. I, I know when we had Nick2 on our podcast two weeks ago, he just wanted Fortress, Moaning Winds, and Killing Spree or Slash Dark Sacrifice to remove from the game. But I, I <laughs> for his hot take, but I but I do like the... um. The sat, like that unique gameplay style of the yeah, as, fortress and moaning winds of not having you, to shoot things and it's you know that's yes. where i would disagree of completely removing it maybe slightly right. works but yeah just just and i just, just want to really point out like that satisfaction of not having to shoot a weapon mm-hmm. to do all of your damage is amazing yeah trust that's me it. i know because i can't aim so <laughs> if i'm gonna shoot my gun i'm all about it <laughs> <You're> my man <laughs> i think that even if uh like you know the fortress changes to go through and yeah i I like capo's suggestion a lot about you know letting us like keep um moaning wind cycles i think i'd still keep that as a part of my build just for like that that extra finisher on like the the weaker or the enemies that are super weakened that didn't get take taken out by the ash blast overheat combo like it's still a nice finisher in that regard like oh yeah and also you know know, there's other things that can be replaced they can replace fortress Right, mm-hmm. like you can slap a radiation splash or clip combustion, exactly, and, and still have some damage. It's not going to be as strong, but it's going to be, you know, right. And now you're giving. Now what do we have hit there? Versus we have different, yeah, exactly. Different being used. Yep, yep. exactly. Exactly, and you know, we don't got to get all crazy. We don't got to get all fancy. Just say, hey guys, you know what? We'll meet you halfway. We're gonna leave Moaning Winds alone. We're not gonna touch it. Because essentially, if you say, okay, yeah, but you're always constantly using Moaning Winds and blah, but we have to understand that now that I'm sitting back thinking about it, like, really, kind of Moaning Winds is really not the issue. Like, if we really look well, at I it, mean, it's really Fortress. Even if, keep the if it is the issue, right? Even if it is the issue, like I said embrace earlier, it. I think they, should give it, they should keep it, fix it, yeah, make embrace it work it. like you want it to work, but keep it because people actually like it. Yeah. It's so unique. <laughs> Capital yeah, I, I guess my my biggest thing with Fortress is I I hate seeing it being used as a as a FP mod in a nutshell kind of sense, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just me being me, I suppose. But I agree with with um with 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 Blunt, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, just you giving us uh, other other options, right? You know what I mean? Just yeah. give me another option. Um, I don't care. It, it's hard for us to. I guess it's easy for us to overreact because we we don't know what they have updates planned to like kind of mm-hmm. bring other mods up into check with Fortress. Right. Uh, right. Um, like you know maybe they buff Radiation Splash a little bit on the damage side and maybe load the cooldown oh, or something like that. You know, um, that'd be awesome. So there's very there's possibilities, but uh, I don't think a lot of people need to panic. But the current state of Fortress, I'm not gonna lie, is uh, is very very fun to play with the Moaning Winds. Um, gameplay mm-hmm. loop and the whole not shooting the weapons now i'm gonna go back a little bit but would it be a bad thing if you like change the eight meters to let's say six or five on morning winds no, no? i mean i, don't think it'd be bad no. I yeah. mean it would you know it wouldn't nerf it for sure but it wouldn't be horrible right like, you may have I, to make some like slight changes for speed running might affect like where you can moaning win certain areas but like in the casual sense of things nah, it's not going to matter too much Right, seen as a nerf, just like as a 
a retweak nice. or rework. Because I feel like honestly, moaning wins. It's it's like it's a part of an AP build. <laughs> like it's it goes with it. You know what I mean? When your all your skills is on cooldown, what are you gonna utilize? Moaning wins. And then guess what? Your skills are back. And now you go back to your skills. You know, so I don't know. I think I think that's a idea. I, I literally I just came up with it and I'm just like, yo, just meet us halfway. Leave moaning wins alone. You you bring down the, the base damage or the damage percentage damage that Fortress is doing. You buff the AP, but this is only if you're going to legitimately make a significant. Now, I'm not talking about a, what was it that they did with the Thunderbird Ultimate Storm Whip? They gave it, what was it you said, a 40% dude? Uh, yeah, yeah, only 40% for Storm Whip. Yeah, wave. nah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah. want no 40%. I, I make that an 80%, okay? <laughs> give it, give the AP like an 80% buff, you know what I'm saying? To where if, hey, if you like that gameplay style, knock yourself out. You still have your Moaning Wins because now Moaning Wins is not going to be so OP with the Fortress mod. Or you can make this change with this Fortress mod. Make the change. Fuck it. Make it an FP mod. And then just give us a brand new mod when you drop the, uh, the DLC or whatever it is, new content. Just give us a brand new mod. Hey, here's 15% straight damage. Just here you go. 15 10 15% boom that's yeah. it i want to i want to see what update they have planned for trickster to um if for the for the new fortress um or however way they want to implement in the future but before we like i did want to mention i did want to go over this real quickly like the rework yeah. will address the issues for fortress of what you know the issues that are currently happening and this is kind of a big one the mod will no longer rely on a broken armor stat calculation or provide its maximum buff um, it is kind of funny that you don't have to like sacrifice anything to put Fortress on, right? Like Big Daddy was saying earlier. Sorry, dude with the blunt was saying earlier. Um, uh, and that was a that was a symptom of that armor buff they did, which they addressed earlier. Uh, and players who already possess Fortress and want to, com to, to continue to play with it should not feel complete night and day drop in power between the old and new Fortress. But I kind of disagree here um, because you kind of will feel the night and day power. Um, if this was pushed to live right now, oh, let me tell you, you would 100% feel the oh night my and day. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 100%. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure this is like with their intention of buffing other things in the future. And while the damage buff will be an omni buff, the gameplay loop of needing to generate stacks through shots means that the new player will become more circumspect. That's a new word I haven't heard before. With regards to which builds can make the most of the new fortress, I would argue here, and you guys can chime in here, that I'm kind of tired of this gameplay loop of having to shoot shit to get some sort of buff. You know? What? You know? Like, it Because, like, they say gameplay loop, but, like, I want more gameplay loops that isn't just, like, relying on killing things to get, like, a buff stack. Um, you know, like, like how Moaning Wins is. Because that's, that's kind of, like, a unique gameplay loop. Loop. But, like, I feel like a lot of their mods that they're pushing out, if they want, like, other gameplay loop experiences, need to stay away from, like, um, shooting to stack or, like, killing shots to stack or, you know. So, maybe skill something kills. A skill, skill kills or like skill yeah. uh, you know, something something a little add bit that. different add that okay okay i mean i look how look how akari works you know you have to get your heat yeah. wave stacks yeah 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 no, so kill like, stacks. I mean, yeah just getting those With, stacks in general like that i don't yeah. know that's better than just shooting stuff to get your stacks like yeah. more stuff like that like imagine if they made this kind of like akari where like using skills and to stack that'd be kind of hot that'd be kind of mm -hmm. hot That'd be kind of hot. Yeah. Like, it would work with Earthquake 2. I'm just saying. It would work with Earthquake 2. No, 100%. Right? Like, if yeah, you, yeah, yeah. like I said, if you, if you cause damage to any enemy with your skills, however enemies, you know, you, you hit, let's say with Earthquake, you hit four enemies, well, that's four stacks right there. Because you use this skill, which caused you to do what? Right. It kind of gives everybody ball. access to, like, a mini Akari. In a sense, yes. but like they can tweak yes. it to make it work, not so much like a Kari, but you know, something that isn't kind of like an easy way out, which is just like shots. Because I don't see any AP build really just like running this new fortress. Um, well, I don't no. know yet, right? I'm kind of like maybe as I'm assuming here, but like on paper, it sounds kind of bad for AP builds. Right. No, well, I, honestly, it, they're totally reworking the whole fortress thing. I don't. I don't see yeah. this being an AP build thing at all anymore. I, you're oh yeah, I agree. I agree. I this agree. is gonna be fully for those guys that want to run that middle tree, and that's oh, what they're trying to make it. That this yeah. is what the hey, this was our intentions. 
you've had your fun with it, but this is where we go off and we're going to make yeah. it. This was our original intention. Like this and, and that goes right on to what they said right here. Additionally, stacking armor and resistance buffs will reward players who have opted into additional armor and resistances from nodes, making them more mm -hmm. tanky. This buff is multiplicative of the current value. That means if a player has 0% resistance, the mob would not provide a baseline value on its own. Um, so they they really are making this into a, you know, what they envisioned, which, you know, if we circle back around to the beginning, something to mm -hmm. address tankier builds and give them that little bit of damage that they would require because they're heavily investing into the tank stats. However, that being said, I still don't, even with this change, like maybe we'll see a bit more tanky builds, but they're just still going to be that, right? This game doesn't have space for tanks to exist at its current state. Does that make sense? Something mm -hmm. fundamentally yeah. has to change to make tanks viable, in my opinion. But I think that's another right. topic of discussion in general. So, And other content, you know, that wasn't time-based and stuff like that. I mean, sure. Do you, you know, if you need to survive in a point for a while, tanks could be viable. But yeah, like, as is current state of the game, there's really no point in a tank. Yeah. I... I, I also think that they need to take into consideration that they um I know this game was meant to be played in a group settings, but like I think they kind of need to step away and look at it and oh, be like yeah. you know what we we actually have a a pretty large amount of player base that really play this game solo, so they need to start taking that into consideration and um. Do something. I guess I guess that, that was my biggest treat. thing with Fortress, man. Just when I just read it as being another like shot sink, I was just like, oh my god, it's not again. So But yeah, that's okay. It it like we know now that their intent of Fortress was for tanky classes, so I can't take that away and be, you know, be all pitchforky. Just just didn't happen to work out that way, you know. <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't know if this has ever been really talked about, but like while we're talking about solo. Why can't you revive when you're solo? Oh, you just dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, it should be the opposite. Give one revive yeah. to solo. If you're dead in trios, you're just dead. <laughs> 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 that that would kill the group play aspect of it. But that's why yeah. it's a group play aspect of it, right? Your teammate yeah. goes down, you revive them. But yeah, if that's the case, just give solo a revive. You know, for speed running, it doesn't matter. For casual play, it just lets people complete the game a little bit more easier. Maybe make yeah. it more punishing. You you go down, your cooldowns are doubled before they come back on cooldown or something like that. I don't know. Something something to really like make an impact. If you go down in solo while you have a chance, it's gonna be, you know, good. it's gonna be a little climb back up there. But, but when the expansion drop, if you wanna play with an extra life, well then hey, you know. Okay, but if you complete it without going down, then hey, here's a cool new toy or I don't know, a cool fucking different color or something. I don't know. Like just I feel like just if we're gonna I'm I'm just saying like the I'm current state of Fortress it. and the current state of Moaning Winds makes for such hot gameplay. It really it does. does. Yeah. It does though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's pretty it hot. It makes things spicy. <laughs> it does. But you know, it's they good. they did mention this as well. Um part of their upcoming wide rebalance, they'll be buffing other mods, which like Big Daddy said. I think math as well. Sorry, due to the blunt set and math as well, we want to kind of see what these buffs are. And some legendary gear sets. And if possible, certain aspects of the class skill trees, which I really hope they actually mm. dive into. Mm. Because certain aspects of the class mm. skill tree makes me happy. But until we know what that is, you know, it's also a little worrisome. But... This, there's certain aspects of the this, the class tree that I'm sitting there like, why is this even here? Yeah, why does the top tree <laughs> on the pyro have, you know, you can, like, as a core mod, if you load faster. <laughs> so what? <dumb. laughs> why? <laughs> there, there, there's mod certain, and yeah, leave yeah, alone. yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it a mod anyways, and leave it alone. <laughs> anyways, I think, I think if people, like, kind of, you know, are overreacting, as they, you know, as everybody will do a little too much, myself included. Um, mm -hmm. But it was nice to like, you know, if they read the whole thing, they can understand the vision behind Fortress and exactly. what they had envisioned, and it kind of put it in a broken state. But like the video said that Math mentioned from uh, Sleepy Asian there, uh, embrace the change as well of the player base that breaks your game, and you can work around that. So maybe maybe they'll listen and keep that unique gameplay style that no other game has. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, maybe require less shooting to stack for certain mods. I mean, they have those other stacking mods, right? Where like enemies around you, uh, kind right. of stuff. But I don't think there's any mod in the game that is enemies affected by XYZ skill other than the Ikari three piece bonus that exists. And I think that's kind of unique and that could be brought up to, you know, maybe a newer mod that gets introduced or maybe a rework to some other mods. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, like add that to different like skills and stuff like that. Like there's definitely some some really cool potential that could go with that that like a car even just something similar to that Akari stack type concept. This is this is I didn't actually read this part. It's funny. Not funny, but I, I didn't notice this until now. They're hoping to create a snippet of the gameplay using the new fortress so that we can see it in action before it is implemented. We'll share it yeah. in the future. <laughs> Always have their little clips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder who's oh. behind the keyboard and mouse when they're <laughs> or the controller. Yeah, or the controller. More than likely it'll be a controller because when they did the Sorry, podcast, sorry, were... PCF devs, we're not roasting your gameplay. Just no, no, they did it on Xbox. They played they on Xbox. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, that's an Xbox controller. I do kind of want to read this portion because I think it's it's very important. Um, go ahead. If this if it does go um into into effect, and so that way everyone knows their intention. It says, played well, the new fortress can reach a ninety three percent uptime for defensive buffs, and seventy five percent uptime for the offensive buffs. This means that when you play, when a player fights enemies for a full minute, 45 seconds of that could be spent in the increased damage window. You may have noticed that the new fortress will provide a max 30% damage buff. Equally, some of you may feel that the new fortress doesn't sound viable within your preferred play style. If you feel that this is a nerf when compared to the previous fortress, uh, constant 43%. Fear not. As part of yeah. our upcoming uh, wider rebalancing, and you already read that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So that did, I, tie, that did tie into the sentence I read, and that is important. But fear not. Yeah. Well, I'm fearful until you show us what the <laughs> wider rebalance, buffing other mods. Because from the example of the buffing many other mods, from the example of the five mods that we saw buffs to, I'm fearful. <laughs> just, yeah. just say I am fearful. Ah, absolutely, I'm fearful I agree. because I agree. the the unique gameplay style that Fortress and Moaning Winds allows is again. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it many times. No other game provides that, to my knowledge. Of what? Of just flat damage? No, of just flat emptying anything? your mags and then just oh, yeah, blasting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because Mo- I'm, no. I'm I'm accounting Moaning Winds and Fortress here together, right? Yeah, because no. when they say fear not, I'm I'm hoping that with these changes that they have in place. Um, Something you just easily slot into Fortress, like Big Daddy, sorry, what Dude was saying earlier. And then, you know, all the outcry is done. Fortress gets its intended purpose of using it for tankier builds, and then AP builds will still be able to use that, um, not having to shoot kind of gameplay style, and then the cycling of the Moaning Winds. And it doesn't have to be three Moaning Winds, you know. Radiation Splash is another good replacement for Moaning Winds, but it's just not up to par. But I, I, I do like the, um, if they are going to make Moaning Winds only be able to cycle to one mod, or you know what I mean, not cyclable, um, has like a global cooldown, so it'd be pretty pointless. I could see like Moaning Winds, Radiation Splash, and then one other mod taking its place at the end. Right, um, right. But I, I do really like the three Moaning Winds gameplay style, and I think that is super unique. Um, that's just my, my take on that. Nah, it's a, we agree. I mean, I I agree. I definitely agree. I just, you know... YouTube is going rampant, like major nerf. Relax, calm down. This is this is not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't think there needs to be videos made. You know, just saying, holy shit, this game is getting nerfed. Huge nerf. I mean, like they're talking about yeah. it with us. It would yeah. be. It's a lot nicer that they're talking about it rather than just saying, "Here's the new fortress today. Enjoy your patch." Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, by the way, next patch. This is what's coming. And this and and look and purpose. look on the bright side here, you know, like yeah, I complain about the patches taking this long, and and we're being worried, but you know, they just they're still trying and working on the game, which which can't be said about a lot of other games that we just buy for X amount of money, and then it just gets lumped in the dust with no dev support. So 
nice to see that they are working on it. I'm just still disappointed the time it has taken to make 19 or 11 changes. Um, or however many changes, 17 changes. Uh, mm -hmm. That, you know, to the game. Absolutely. Like, it, it does have me a little bit worried, you know, like when they do release the DLC. Like, how long testing is be. it going to take for the DLC to actually get released? Because if 17 patches takes five months, five weeks, a DLC with new content, oh man. I really hope that, you know, they have their ship together. Absolutely. Because it could just be another Outriders uh, 2.0, let's just say that way, um, from the initial launch from demo. <laughs> you know, If it's so. another Outrider from launch of demo, that's a negative 2.0. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> that's a negative 2.0, you know what I mean? Uh, but no, I like I said, I'm, I'm just keeping a cool, calm, collect, and just want to make sure that everybody, like, hey, listen, it's okay. This is not happening now. And it probably won't even happen to be a, for a while. Right. Yeah. Honestly. But it might not even happen at all. And you know, hey, this is a discussion. This is what we're looking at. Obviously, when a company says, Hey, this is what we're looking at, something is gonna happen. But you know, um, Cap your cams off again, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a, that's what was causing Oh, issues. I see, I see. No worries, no worries, you're chilling. Um, I, I just think that, hey, it, it might not happen, but something is going to happen with Fortress and Morning Winds. I truly, truly think, and I think um, at the well, end of we, the day... We already know what's happening with Fortress. We just don't know what's happening. With yeah. Okay. Um, just leave it alone, man. Just honestly, if, I get it. I honestly, yeah, issue. leave Morning Winds alone. I, I like just yeah, leave, reduce the damage leave. a little bit, keep the cooldown yeah. the same, let people cycle three if they want to. Yeah. Or maybe you know put the damage in line, um, right? And maybe because if you're else doing so people are more wins, incentivized to use something else. Exactly, because if you're doing the, the the legitimate moaning wins damage, it's 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 good. It's not overpowering, but it's good. It takes care of business. What I feel like makes moaning wins overpower is the fortress. Is <laughs> this that's just what it feels like? And I feel like if you do this. And you just leave more. I mean, for people. for for AP devs, I think it makes them viable. Sorry, oh, I think for, yeah, yeah. Viable. for for yeah, pyros, yeah, I can see the argument being made, but for AP devs, oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. Absolutely. What is AP? Okay, I, I what is AP devs gonna do? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. Just sit there. And be oh like, man, hey, if they made this change today, oh, if they made this change today, AP devs would be would be so fun. It's, it's, who, who's playing Devastator? <laughs> so Not <fun>. I. <laughs> <laughs> not I. No, I just think honestly, just leave Moaning Winds alone. Don't touch it. Just like do what you want to do with Fortress, and make sure that you make listen to the words that I'm saying. Significant devastating deaths to AP buff. That's it. Yep. Point. I'm I'm still gonna be a little hopeful. Um, you know, nothing's changing with Fortress and Moaning Winds now, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, as long as the their offerings for a substitute is just as good. I think we should be fine, um, but you know I, I'm I'm a dead horse at this point. But yeah, I really hope that they kind of so go crazy good. with the buff numbers in the beginning because they you know we know yeah. that they can always bring it back down. I mean, week one we saw that they can just go into a skill tree and nerf Trickster for no reason. I'm still not complaining. Nope. You're just making an observation. I'm just making an observation. Yep. Definitely not scarred permanently or anything. No, no, I, mean, yeah, I think Plato is scarred from that. Motherfucking I mean, is is. I mean, is. let me tell you, man. I was like, okay, I'm finally working on a build on Trickster that makes it kind of do a little damage, and then boom, I just lost thirty for what? What data showed them that Trickster was annihilating? Because all I all I remember was getting one tapped every time I hunt the bread anywhere. Okay, I was having trouble. I just I, I just needed that techno. damage. I blame Techno because I feel like once you played Techno, you saw like. The damage that it was doing, it kind of. I mean, set a have standard. you played Techno now, Capo? I don't know. I was running <laughs> around with it today. Where's I need to see a dev news of of Techno Mancers and Dark Sacrifice, and oh, it's next man. week. That's next <laughs> week. I, think, I want to see what their plan Dark is Sacrifice for Dark Sac. Is fine. Oh I think man, that's it's fine. it's literally the Fortress problem, but for <laughs> but for firepower. But you know I, what I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I mean, for us, it might. It has be, no disadvantage. I mean, it literally has no disadvantage. I mean, you lose, what, you, lose two, you lose two HP a second that you can get back by shooting something in a three burst, man. But we can it's do not that, that drastic. Everybody no, can everybody do can that. do that, man. I mean, they, 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 everybody they, can. They should be, but they can't. It just takes a little bit of practice, and you get the hang of it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I like that they're addressing like 
the AP side of things, but they need to address the FP side of things to keep it fair and balanced. And maybe Honestly, make everybody's top tree like fucking Technos. <laughs> that synergy, man. It's so good. Facts. Oh, man. Like, I was about to say that. <laughs> like, everybody should be able to do... Like, I don't say, like, don't make them exactly exactly. I know we're but, rambling like, now, but, like, it's fine. It's fine. No, like, they should definitely make it viable. So, like, you know what? I'm tired of running around doing Earthquake. Let me put the statue build on, and don't get me started on the statue. Okay? But let's put the statue build on, and let me go over there, and let me, you know, let me fuck some shit up. So Yo, definitely firepower devastator looking hot with fortress. I don't know. I'm just throwing at this point. Maybe I don't know. Um, Could be a thing. Just Big Daddy do it, man. It. <laughs> just Detesting. fucking do it. I mean, you can just put dark sacrifice on on the gun. Nah, with, FPS, with, on garbage. a death shield. <laughs> but I'm just saying for like, now, definitely. Firepower, because I hear I've heard a lot of people that want to play Firepower Pyro, and they're just like, I can't, I can't make it. I mean, the the biggest issue with Firepower Pyro is just no ammo return, and that's the only thing stopping people. Well, that's the only thing stopping Firepower Pyro to be on par to like Trickster's level in my eyes, because I don't think you can ever surpass Techno with the kind of shit Techno can do with their synergy with the top trees and you know everything that they run. But it would be on par to being like a satisfying build to play versus just being forced to use like guns that are just really weak. And I would love for for guns to be buffed too while we're on the topic of like, you know, buffing weapon mods and stuff, man. Because some guns Increase need the love. Base damage. Yeah, and some guns LMG, need love. Definitely. Yeah. I would love to run around with 150 rounds. Yeah, Bojangles first rifles is just insane to me. Oh, I'm sure God. they'll address it. I'm sure they'll address it. Assault address rifles. It. Regular just assault rifle. Where it's not a burst, it's just you know. But all right, like enough I rambling. Said, enough I rambling. I, I did want Math to touch on um, touch on his topic, uh, with Ooh. uh, with Mister Ice T. Math, take it away. Yeah, little, this, little, this can actually be a little big discussion, though. Actually, <laughs> so. a little bit of a juicy tweet that happened uh, on the fourteenth, actually. Um, recently, very recently. Yeah, yeah, just two days ago. Um, Ice T. Mr. Verified, I see 1.8 million followers on Twitter. Actor, actor, actor. on Law and Order. Uh, yep. OG retired, rapper. Retired rapper, yeah. Retired rapper. OG. I actually saw that, that he's been touring years. recently, too. That's the OG, Kind of crazy. Man. So, I, guess, I guess not retired. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess he's out of retirement. Yeah, he was like tweeting that he was happy about a couple of weekend shows. Kind of cool. Um. Yeah, he uh, he tweeted and he said gamer stuff. I've been playing the game Outriders and I hate to complain, but their servers and matchmaking system almost makes it impossible to enjoy. Crash after the, crashed after crash, WTF. But I uh, I did a little I, I did a little digging, and I actually saw that on April tenth he also tweeted about Outriders. Oh, oh, yeah. math went down. Okay, math. Okay. Yeah. Damn, damn, okay, math, math. All right, Mr. FBI. Go ahead. So, <laughs> you know, it was yeah, a little ice tea cosplay there for a second, right? But uh, so I've been, he says, gamer stuff. I've been playing Outriders this weekend. So far, I can't complain. It usually just takes a day for me to know if I want to keep playing. And I'm really enjoying this game. Oh. But that was, you know, five months ago. <laughs> oh. so it looks like um, ice tea plays very ca very casually but honestly like you know that's still well, no if he's played since uh, april you know he's played a lot of the game yeah, yeah. that's big though man that's well, i think big. what it what it points out and it's a pretty sad point of view right of a casual player also knowing mm -hmm. right all the issues the game has mm -hmm. i feel like that points out a pretty grim you know yes yeah. that's actually pretty, pretty that's big pretty, pretty grim news for pcf in terms of yeah. you know the game out in general that's that's big man because that's here's one thing that they haven't discussed in this dev news and i don't know if i mentioned it in the last dev news but i know i've mentioned it amongst us is how are they going to fix multiplayer being a complete shit show to put it lightly not even to put it light to be completely honest Multiplayer I mean, in this, this game point, this is point, horrible. The quickest and easiest way is dedicated servers. <laughs> multiplayer in this game is one of the worst multiplayers I have experienced in a game that's a AAA game released in 2021. 
with with all the things that happened with the desync, um, I'm really glad. I'll give PCF hell 100% props to fixing that desync issue that was happening a few patches ago, and, and they actually worked really hard to get that done in like three days. So that was really you know nice for them to do. But multiplayer is still a huge problem, and like you know, Ice T said, getting into a multiplayer game, great. Now you're in the game. Now are you going to get table kick? <laughs> you're about to go into an expedition. Who's going to get kicked out of the party this time? Some people yeah. join the expedition. Whose game is going to crash this time? Um, yeah. You're playing fine in an expo run. Who's going to have their abilities not go off because of the desync? You know? Like, are mods not going to work? Like, a core fundamental of the game, mods not working in multiplayer. And they want this game to be played by a group of people. Well, you know, the from what we've seen, I think they do really need to focus on the multiplayer aspect of it being more fleshed out before a DLC even drops um, is one thing that I hope they take seriously is if the DLC plays like the multi current multiplayer now it's playable but it's still going to lead to that experience of people getting kicked for no reason uh, the game just not working properly and just you know we all know how multiplayer is in this game if you're not host you're not really having that much fun I mean they definitely Fixed. they definitely came they've came a I don't want to say a long ways, but do you guys remember like the server instability like at launch and like oh, not oh, being able yeah. to start things? Oh, I sorry. mean, this that that could be also the entire player base left the game now that the servers are true. Yeah, bad, just overloaded you know? servers. Yeah. Oh my god! I, like I've always tried, I, you know, I always try to be positive and optimistic, but I I I I, I can't on this one. Like, you got to fix your shit, boss. Like, <laughs> like you've got to fix your shit. Like that is yeah. No, that is, I mean yeah. That 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 right there, I can't even like it has to be done because that's yeah. that's like the foundation. You know I mean, yeah, it's I mean, not you know, it's not like we're saying that Ice T has this huge reach and this is the dead kiss for yeah, the yeah. game. You know, we're not saying that at all. Yeah, we're definitely. saying Ice T as a one hundred percent casual player, like this is the experience he's having. This is a horrible sign. Horrible sign. Yeah, and something has to. I think uh, hopefully, um, because I shot that tweet to them. Um, hopefully, you know, they took a look at it. They were like, "Yo, holy shit, how do we fix this?" You know what I mean? One point eight million I'll, people, and you know, some of those are gamers. <laughs> that shit. I mean, eight hundred people like well, that like, tweet. Yeah, eight hundred of those are gamers. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. And the other, hey, that uh, may be a small percentage. Bots. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then and maybe Capo, you can get into the ears by adding at least text chat in this game, man. He sucks for communication. I mean, well, here's, imagine here's the adding thing, text chat to this. I, I would say, I would say, yeah, yeah probably break say, the game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, sorry, that, sorry, PCF. Uh, text chat would only possibly maybe be good, and um for pc side but it, i mean it's I, I i find it like kind of yeah, it'll be a little bit harder on console. console yeah i get that yeah and so, i guess they want to utilize I mean? the lfg and stuff so i guess there is text chat in a way but it like who's gonna yeah it, it does make communicating <laughs> difficult in game especially when it's supposed to be a multiplayer game playing with three people not to have any form of communication outside of fucking <laughs> emotes Bro, uh, listen to me, man. Imagine, imagine if you like look at your technomancer you're playing with a trickster, you guys are like having a good time, but all of a sudden a devastator comes in and starts impaling everything. And now you just can't kill anything. You want to maybe let the devastator know very nicely, would you please possibly not run impale? Um, we're struggling to get gold as it is. And but you impaling, know how long that's gonna you know. take somebody on a controller to type all that? Hold an ad voice. <laughs> like chat. three years <laughs> at least. <laughs> <Hold an ad laughs> voice chat. Thank you, Mav. But that shit takes ages, man. <laughs> Add some sort of voice chat, then I don't know. We need some other communication that's not emotes. It's uh, at least thirty man. seconds to just say hey. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't need it. Any more communication wouldn't happen until you know a Shredder's two probably. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I just wishful thinking. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things that we hope for won't happen until Outriders two. All right, sure. so so you guys, it seems like you guys have never really played console. Um. When you yeah, matchmake on console, I, so... yeah. When you matchmake a console like this, like I hear people saying it, but it was it's it will only be valued in the PC community. Any other game that you matchmake, <laughs> you're not com, wrong. Oh my god, 
there is no such thing as a text chat. So I don't understand why people are like, we need text chat or we need to form because yeah, if you yeah, match yeah. make. Sorry, PC, not, PC, PC woes. Yeah, you're not going to send somebody, a stranger that you match make to get on your friends for, on your friends list so they can get into a PlayStation or Xbox chat. Like that's definitely not happening. Trust me. Yeah, I guess cross. <laughs> right, I mean, I guess all this stuff is hard to do in crossplay too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I right. I'm a fiend? Am I lying? There's uh the only game I've ever played that had actual text chat was uh Apex Legends actually on console. Oh, Apex Legends. There we go. That's Apex the, got the, it. Why can't our have it? <laughs> well, how often was that to... utilized? Never. I mean, you don't Maybe have a, a lot to either. say <laughs> I fucked your mom or something like that, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if you're like dead or something and you're mad at your teammate, I guess you could. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I can see all the, the toxicity best... that comes from text. Yeah. Chat. Sorry. The best Sorry about way it. To do up. it. It's void. Like you put you add some type of VoIP in there and then that's it. That'd be the yeah. best way to do it. Maybe a VoIP that people have to like, you know, opt into going so their ears don't get immediately destroyed by. <laughs> exactly. You could turn you know? it on and you could turn it off. Yeah. But again, Outriders 2, most likely. I don't expect it to happen in Outriders 1. Oh, not Outriders that it needs it, honestly. Just be nice for some sort of communication when the whole theming is behind working as a team. <laughs> There's a lot of disconnects. It's a wish. Yeah. It's a fantasy right now. Good show. Shit, man. But yeah, that's that's big. And if you ask me, definitely. like You fix that. I, I, I truly believe that you definitely fix like 20% of your problems. Yeah, I would love to be able to say, damn. I can't believe I'm playing Trickster off host like I do on host. That's what I want it. That's what I want multiplayer to feel like. Oof. That's server. I'm not a computer guy, but isn't that a like server issue? Like desync shit? Whatever the I fuck don't the know, case man. Maybe? Whatever it is, they're the only ones that can fix it. Like what can Dude we do? with the blunt. Ain't that what that is? I don't know. Don't you know about that shit? About what? G- I, wanting to play uh, so i was basically saying i want them to fix multiplayer to the point where i can play trickster off host like it is on host where the billies are usable at least well no no but what do you mean you mean dedicated servers you mean p2p no like... he just means like the current situation is it like server is it because of the server base the these things like it's just p2p is what's causing all these issues honestly i mean yeah like let's be real i think the biggest problem is just they made a game that's very complex right and translating that to P2P was just not successful. I mean, that's, not, that's not saying like that. Cool. Sorry, go ahead. Like, yeah, it's not, not that P2P is bad. It's just, right, they, they made a game that's pretty complex. And, you know, ultimately, I guess they didn't deliver on the P2P experience. So, you know. Yeah, I, I don't want to bring like up the old easiest, quotes. Like, the easiest fix for this would be dedicated servers, right? Like, having mm, a, yeah. a, an equal platform for every player where these desync things don't happen as much but would that take time wouldn't that take like they would have to like shut down the game to do, make that happen uh yeah for sure but i mean at the same time they could just right set it up and just do a maintenance and switch over i think possibly okay uh, well maybe know, the resources know. aren't there regardless I, I i don't think they're gonna do it for outriders one but maybe our best wishful thinking for outriders one is that they can fix up some sort of the p2p to make it you know, a little bit more bearable than it is now. Is right. Well, now, sure. I mean, kind of. I mean, if we're being realistic, right? Dedicated servers for this game, I guess, is not super realistic. But still, like the amount of problems that are just tied to the, like you know, the connection between players. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of massive, and it, you know, it's that's a whole another podcast, <laughs> fathom, right? No, but it's hard to even fathom how yeah. they would fix the P two P in in its current state, like. That's just, you know, that's just my opinion, honestly. No, I agree. I shared that opinion wholeheartedly. And, you know, ultimately, it is, like, a complex game and all that, so we can't put all the blame on their fault. You know, they're, are they a relatively new game developer? I guess not, but it's, like, their first standalone game. I want to say, yeah. Kind of Gears of War kind of thing, but yeah, their first standalone game for sure. Yeah, because they were uh, partnering with yeah, Epic Games, right? Yeah, they, there was Epic Games involvement, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's my point. It's like, you know, I guess it makes sense to some extent. They aim too high and then had to make a choice, right, on P2P or dedicated servers. Yeah, and I guess it just, that. right, it didn't... Which, which baffles me a little bit because the demo's undedicated, right? And they have, like, that I mean, if the demo was undedicated, why why couldn't they just 
make the demo servers oh, not it? a demo server. Yeah, the demo is on dedicated servers, man. Really? That's the first yeah, that's been confirmed. That. Yeah, that's been confirmed. The demo is on dedicated the, servers. So. Yeah, the demo ran way smoother. Then. So, so it's <laughs> really? like so it's a bait and switch kind of. We're being real. so it's like what happened, what? man? It's kind of. It's kind uh, of uh, it, it, I mean. I didn't want to admit to that, but if we're being honest here, the demo definitely ran multiplayer. Yeah, and it's not a player capacity boys. issue by any means. Look at the player capacity right now. Probably less than the demo. <laughs> Maybe at launch, no, though, it was an issue. The, de the demo had over 2 million people playing it. Oh. Okay, yeah. then give us the demo, demo servers. Oh, yeah, the demo, <laughs> oh, no, the demo was extremely small in scale, to be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. true, true. That true. Is true. All these problems are you know much more noticeable in the end game you know i'd argue people could play all multiplayers right uh, multiplayer story campaigns and not really notice the problems because you know they're just starting to play the game so they don't know all the little things yeah, yeah but like the multiplayer experience wasn't this bad was there even multiplayer in the demo no no i mean uh, in the yes. campaign i said uh, in the yes. campaign Oh, in the campaign, I see, I see, I see. Right, right. Oh, yeah, People yeah, yeah, just no, playing no, through no, the no. campaign with, like, you know, probably not even know half these bugs. But yeah, just the fact that the demo was undedicated and the. the well, yeah, like I said, it's yeah, basically it's, a bait and switch, switch, isn't it? I mean, is it still on dedicated servers, right? Because you can the still demo? play the demo. Yeah. Like, I'm assuming it is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume that it's not anymore. Not 100% <laughs> sure there, though, but. Last, last yeah, I heard. Yeah. That's that's that was the case, and there was oh, even like yeah. an article I mean, where they like praised their P two P. It's just not I guess how that's it is. Good news, I guess that's good news, right? Because if the, the demo is undedicated, then they already have some form of the game working on dedicated servers, so you know that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I don't think it's a wishful thing that's going to happen. But yeah, multiplayer does need um, a taken. I mean, a lot of aspects of this game is taken to look at, but you know, we got those dev updates weekly. At least we're getting some sort of news every week, which is nice. And honestly, I like these deep dives into Moaning Winds, these deep dives into Fortress um, and all that stuff and their intentions behind it. Because as someone who really likes this game, you know, I'm into that. That's kind of hot. Like, well, sure, why but they I decided like to do kinda, X, Y, and Z. You know, I feel like they're kind of defending themselves at this point. Yeah, right? they're kind of like, stalling too, to be honest. But, uh, you know. Well, sure, but more yeah, specifically, yeah. right? They're like... <laughs> <laughs> They're basically coming two months ahead saying, hey, guys, by the way, we're going to nerf this and this. And here's our reasoning. And, you know, I get why, but I feel like they should yeah. be speaking about their reasoning for the buffs that are coming, right? I feel like it sh the next thread shouldn't be I, I feel like they have to address this. I what feel like they have buff. to address this, though. Like, just that simple. Just give us buffs now. Speak about buffs. But I, I honestly feel like, to their defense, I feel like they have to address this in some way. Like, not addressing it and then releasing a patch that changes it fundamentally, I think, would do more harm than, you know, kind of addressing it and then... Well, no, no, I know. But my point is, isn't that, it's just like, you know, I feel like they're doing that too much, right? Like, they're trying to explain themselves too much. Yeah, but I don't mind it, personally. Like, to know, like, the history behind a certain mod... Like, I want to know the history behind Dark Sacrifice. Like, <laughs> whoever created it, yeah. give them a raise. I love it. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely think this is definitely a good thing. 100%. You're giving us the information, and then you're, you know, you're letting us know in detail. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this is yeah. Dawa's intention. Not everyone's going to be happy going about on. it. Yeah, like, it's all good. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, the, the intention behind it is fine. I'm just saying, like, it's time to change your team. Just I, I do sure really that. agree with Sleepy Asian's post too. If you guys want to go into more detail, he actually has a really nice post that he sums up about his feelings. And that video again, I'll link it. You should really watch when what to do when players break your game. Yeah, yeah, that's I, a great I, watch. Sir, those are good. Those I, are good. I, I truly just, just think that the same way you did with Fortress and Moaning Wind, when that time comes, these buffs, we discuss it the same way. Like you know, you guys come out and say, "Hey, this is why we're making these buffs to these things." And blase, blase, yeah, yeah, blase. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that too. Definitely need that. Yeah. Like that's yeah, what definitely. I mean. That's what needs to happen next. Like I'm. Yep. Uh, yep. Like stop. stop next dev news why update. You're shit. Explain, explain. Explain why, why you're, you're buffing shit. Explain why Storm Whip T3 is now gonna do five hundred thousand damage every second per shot. Let me use that damn thing. Wow. That's what'll get me to use Storm with five hundred thousand damage every second T3. Let's go. I mean, then you not, truly feel like not, a god of thunder. Not completely <laughs> wrong is the 
you know yeah. i'm <laughs> not like, like yeah, I'm, I'm not trolling. You have things <laughs> like fortress and dark sacrifice in the game that are just so good and then you have storm whip which does basically nothing for you it's just it, like another yeah. no, it's basically another armor mod in terms of value so yeah mm -hmm. I feel like a lot could be done to make these weapon mods just more interesting because they're, I mean, they are interesting, but I mean, for, to give people reasons to actually use them. Yeah. But no, I think this is a good spot to end the podcast today, unless you guys want to add anything else, Matt, dude, Capo. Stop I mean, watching you know. clickbait YouTubers. <laughs> and start I mean, watching hey, the I clickbait, but with good info. Yeah, start watching Voices of Enoch to get the real information and stop. Yeah. Don't be watching people that say, oh, major nerf. Oh, my God. Why are you doing this? And they don't really read through the whole patch. Oh, Jingles, that'd be hot. Definitely check out uh, Dude with a Blunt's new uh, new Pyro video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me, let me show that. Dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me find that. Honestly, then use it while it lasts, okay? Oh my yeah, god, this yeah, is exactly. such criminal if you views, man. Build, if you want to try to build before it gets uh, nerfed, long. Use it while it lasts, okay? Use it while it lasts. And Sorry, that's giving give you the timestamp at 873 seconds, but you know how to rewind time. And these guys know how to play. Yeah. Sorry, these dudes upload world record videos every single day. I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to beat their own records, but. I mean, my hope is that the meta changes before we get to that point. Uh, and it's just fun to speed run whether we beat it or mm -hmm. not like at this point that's where i'm at like i i don't think i play a speed run to like like you know and maybe big daddy you share the same way but it's just fun playing with the voice going fast and if you get a record you get a record I mean, you're trying to but like if you don't that's okay too you know just having fun i mean there's there's a lot of fun that can be had in just doing something over and over again and maximizing your loot and if you guys aren't watching capo in the mornings on the weekdays what the hell are you what? doing what yeah you can find capo yeah. at capo 167 on twitch i'll be there i'm not gonna promise that i'll be playing outriders but you can definitely catch me playing outriders on thursday you can catch me playing outriders <laughs> every single day on twitch.tv slash plato bear and then i'll Ugh. bait and switch you from outriders to valorant yeah um, once in a while but not all the time I and actually worked up today. Oh, my man. You out of iron? I'm out of iron, bro. Oh, Woo! my God. My man. And then don't forget to check out Mr. Mephine Caffeine here at twitch.tv slash myfine. Myfine? Mephine? M-A-F-F-E-I-N-E. Caffeine with the M. Usually streams AK around. A.K.A. the Outrider ESG. CEO. A.K.A. Future Ambassador. A.K.A. Our Partner Podcast. True. Sir? And then you can catch Dude with a Blunt at twitch.tv slash Dude with a Blunt and Dude with a Blunt on YouTube as well. I'll link his Pyro video in the description down below if you guys are interested as well. Uh, and of course, links to everybody that was on the podcast today. But thank you for joining. And until the next Dev News update or any next significant changes that we feel that we need to discuss, see you guys at episode eight. Peace.